check this out. A beautiful sunset creating this majestic scene in the Arizona desert. This footage was filmed yesterday evening by King K, who said he captured it from his home in Tucson near Saguaro National Park. The park is home to the nation's largest cacti. That is just oh, gorgeous. <laughs> I know. Look at that. I love all the colors that you can see. Look at that panorama as it goes I know. around. And those are really cool cacti. cacti. Uh, I think we get like the small ones, right? We don't have those. Yeah, that's more Arizona. Once yeah, you start Arizona. driving, then we can see those ones. <laughs> so that was a beautiful sunset for sure. But I know we get beautiful sunsets here too. We so. do. <laughs> and as a matter of fact, our weather watcher and executive producer put in or submitted this beautiful sunset. So question, Shelby, which one's better? Oh, God. This is from El Paso, by the way. <laughs> <laughs> okay, well, I'm biased because yeah. I love El Paso. I mean, they're both beautiful. Okay, I like the sunset in that uh -huh. picture, but I think the cacti in the other okay, one. Okay, well, what about this extreme. one? <laughs> Would you give this one the win where we have our chief, uh, our, actually our executive editor, right, chief editor? Yes. Chief editor and honorary uh, weather watcher kind of show us the sunset. Okay, that one wins. Andrew beats the cacti Andrew Miller, every yeah. time. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> I agree. That is so true. Well, let's go ahead and talk a little bit about weather tonight. We are definitely seeing just a beautiful night in El Paso. It is just a gorgeous end to what was a little bit of an active start to our afternoon. As a matter of fact, right now we didn't really manage to register any kind of rainfall this afternoon in East El Paso. We did get to see a little bit of rain in West El Paso, but at the airport there was none. So we stayed at zero. Our month to to now from June 1st to now we've registered 1.02 inches of rain which puts us quite a bit above average normally we should be at about half an inch of rain definitely surpass that this year though not so much we're at about 1.60 inches of rain for El Paso from January 1st up until now on average we should be registering 2.11 so uh, you know we are still a little bit behind but I can tell you we have rain chances every single day these entire next nine nine days. 83 degrees is what we're looking at in East El Paso with those northerly winds at about 11 miles per hour, so not too bad. Today we officially registered 94 at the airport, 93 in Las Cruces, matching that in Juarez. And as for how we compare, well, on average, El Paso should be closer to 98 degrees. We were about a few degrees below that today, so below average. 71 is how we started off this morning. 72 is normal, so we were close to seasonal, and it looks like we'll see that again tonight. We were close to average, 73 degrees in El Paso, 68 in Las Cruces, and about 72 in Juarez. So plenty of moisture still exists in our atmosphere. As we go into the weekend, we're going to see quite a bit of it over El Paso. I know this big logo doesn't really help you see it, but we're right at the edge of this dark green, which means we have the possibility of heavy rainfall. Now, we don't have the possibility for widespread rain. It's not that way for the weekend. We don't have that kind of energy, but we are going to have enough to where we can sustain those heavy downpours at times, pop up showers throughout the weekend before we see those real rain chances kicking in next week. 94 degrees, your forecast high for tomorrow with a 20% chance of isolated or pop up storms. 93 degrees in Las Cruces, same thing, just a 20% chance of rain of isolated storms in the Mestia Valley. And as for the rest of your nine day forecast, we're expecting to see a 20% chance Friday, Saturday, Sunday. We'll stay in those mid to low 90s for the most part. Monday will increase those rain chances to 40%. What this means is that more of El Paso will get to see these rain chances, giving us a better chance to see the possibility of heavy rainfall coming down. 20% chance of rain Tuesday, 40% chance of rain on Wednesday, so it's going to be Monday, Wednesday, and Thursday that we expect to see the possibility of widespread rain. And if you would like to be featured on KTSM 9 News, go ahead and submit those beautiful weather photos to us through our social media platforms or email news at KTSM.com. We'll be right back. Kennedy Law Firm. Injured in an accident? Call 544-5200. KTSM 9 and Truly Nolan want to answer your weather questions. All you have to do is ask Monica. Record your